Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Rosie and today is day number four of my New Year's 30 day challenge. Today we're just repeating our full body workout from our first day. All right, we're gonna get started first by doing mountain climbers. Everything is a 30 second interval and yeah, we're just gonna go exercise by exercise. We got this guys. Mountain climbers, 30 seconds, let's go. I always like to start my full body workouts off with some cardio section, so that's exactly what we're doing just to get us sweating and get this workout started by getting right into our heart rate zone, so the rest of the workout is more effective. And I get cardio can be pretty hard, it is for me too, so go ahead and take a break if you need it. Make sure you guys have water and make sure you guys are breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Okay, next exercise, we're actually going to stand up and go into jumping jacks. We're gonna go into jumping squats now. These are legitimately really hard, but I swear we got this. I had to take a break in between these, but just get back to it if you need to pause, that's okay. Try to squat as low as you can. It's kind of hard to get exact form because you're jumping and if you haven't worked out in a long time, it can be really difficult. You see me clearly dying, but it's okay. And we're going to lay back down on the floor and we're going to go into an ab portion and we're going to start with crossover abs. Great job, guys. We're going to go into Russian twists next. I know these ab exercises are going to hurt because we are working those abs, and I was definitely feeling it, but that's a good thing. You know, I love getting in this ab workout and push through, you guys. It's not that hard. This video is only like 10 minutes long. We got it. And I always say the cardio section is the hardest, so we're already done with the hardest part. The rest of this video is cake. I want you guys to do it completely. Let's go. We're going to go into crunches next. And not a full sit-up. We're not coming up all the way. We're just crunching. And now we're going to continue crunching, but it's more of this like pushing up thing, almost like you're pushing a weight up to the top of your knees. So just slide your hand up your thighs as you crunch up. Abs are burning, but that's okay. Keep going. We got this. Good job, guys. We're going to go into V-ups next. By this time in the workout, I know that we're feeling it, and that's okay. Just breathe through. Take some sips of water if you need it. Good job, guys. We're going to actually go over into a plank. 
We're just going to hold it for 30 seconds. I know you can be a little bit shaky. I definitely am. You can see that. And that's okay. I'm still just going to try to push through. Try to stay as low as I can, keeping my form good and just breathing. We're more than halfway through. Keep holding. We're almost at the end of this workout. Only a few seconds left to hold. Just hold it. It's okay. Three, two, one. Okay, you can let go of that plank and we're done with the ab section. So I recommend to take a break, a breather, get some water. We're going to go into our legs portion and we're going to start first with outer leg raises. Good job, just keeping it really controlled, and we're going to go into circles now. And at least during these leg exercises, we can breathe, so take this time to take some deep breaths and keep it really controlled, you know, just swing your leg in a circle, it's almost therapeutic, we're just chilling. <laughs> we got this, you guys. Awesome job. We're going to go into clamshells now. And I know you guys might be tired, but don't give up. Remember what we're doing this for. We want to see those results. We want to feel good. And we are going to, if you finish this workout, we are so close to being done. Good job. We're going to flip over to the other leg and repeat the same exercises, starting with those outer leg raises. And now going into the circles, we got this, push through, don't give up. I know it's a little bit hard, your legs might be feeling a little heavy, <laughs> we've been working them, but it's okay. All right, our last leg exercise is those clamshells. You guys got this. Let's go. Yay, we're done with our leg portion, and now we're going to go into a mini arm section, starting with these controlled little circles. Good job, we're gonna go into wings now, so just straight up and down.
And now we're just bending our arms and doing these pump downs. This is the last arm exercise and then we're moving into a really, really quick back portion and then you guys are done. So good job so far, keep pushing, let's finish it out. Great job. We're going to go over and lay on our stomachs for this back portion. And what you're going to do is lift your legs up and do this swimming motion with your arms and this will work your back. I feel like we forget about our back sometimes and it's important that we work that, especially if we're trying to look for results in our waist area. Our back is included in that. Good job, you guys. The last exercise is just going to be a Superman hold. So we're just holding our arms and legs in this position. This might be a little bit tricky. Just hold it. Only 30 seconds. You guys got this. And you guys got through the entire workout. So finish this last one. Don't give up halfway through. And do not give up at the last exercises either. These do matter. I know. I used to do workout videos. I know. I know you skipped the last one, but stay here. Okay, good job. <laughs> I'm so proud of you for completing this workout. We are halfway through our first week. I know we're tired, but we got this. I want to see you back tomorrow because I'm here for you. So don't let me down. Come back tomorrow and we will be working out every single day. So I'll see you then. Good job today and I'll see you later. Bye.